Hello everybody and welcome to this Bigger Plate tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to add links or attachments to your Mind Genius map. So let's take a look. First of all, let's think about what we can add links to and why we might want to do that. So firstly, what can we link to? Well, the answer is pretty simple. In MindGenius, we can add links to websites, or we can also add links to files and folders that we might want to keep easily to hand. Now, the benefit of links to websites is it avoids doing that thing we all do of saving bookmarks in our browser and forgetting what they were, why we bookmarked them, and why they're there. We can save in MindGenius lots of little uh, symbols for ourselves of signposts, really, to websites that we think are important. And again, Again, the value in a mind map is we always know why we've saved that there because it's always in a certain position that's going to tell you a lot more. So you see this little symbol here, if I hovered over it, it says there's home of mind mapping. So if I click that, that should just pop open my browser in a second and it should open up at biggerplate.com which is where I've saved that little uh, hyperlink to. So I set up a link within Mind Genius, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, that means I can just very easily pop open this website when I want to. Similarly with folders and files, we can save something here, a little symbol there tells us there's a link off to a PDF and if I click that PDF uh, link that's going to take me off and we'll open up that PDF that's on our computer somewhere. I won't do that for a minute because I'll show you how we've done it in a second. So. There we go. Let's talk about how. So the way we can access this in Mind Genius is pretty simple. We can choose a topic. So you select any topic that you want to add a link to, and then you can go up to the main menu here. You can see it's already open here, but if we were on the home menu, we're then just looking for the insert menu. And then you've got option here of clicking to add a hyperlink if you want to link to a web page, or add an attachment if you want to link off and, and create a nice easy signpost off to a particular file or folder. So links are for websites, attachments are really for files and folders. So the other option if you maybe don't want to have to go up to the main menu every time is to just right click, scroll down and you'll see the attachments option is just there. Now again this is only going to work for attachments not links so just choose your options depending on what you'd like to do. So let's take a look at that again. Let's say we want to link off to a website. We come up here and we say add hyperlink and let's put in our website again, let's put biggerplate.com and save that. We can add a description if we like in there, the Bigger Plate website. Let's put that there, say OK, and again that little symbol pops open, uh, pops into that topic so I know there's a link there. I've got my little description that I wrote there saying Bigger Plate website, and if I click that again off we go to biggerplate.com. Eventually, it's Friday evening so maybe it's a bit slow. So attachments, similarly we just can either come up here and use the add attachment but maybe this time we'll use the, the right click menu. So let's just move down here and say we're going to right click and add an attachment and you see we've got a slightly different menu here and all we need to do is say add and it's going to pop open a similar looking box and what we want to do is choose this option here that's going to give us the option of sort of browsing around our computer and seeing what, what files and folders we've got. I've saved just a quick example on our desktop. I've saved our Bigger Play annual report as a PDF on my desktop. So if I save that and say maybe I want to change that so it's a bit tidier, I'll say annual report, uh, say OK, say OK, and there it is. Now again, if I click that, that's going to open up the annual report from my desktop, which is quite a large uh, file, so it might take a little bit, but there it is. So there's our Bigger Play annual report. So very easily I've saved within Mind Genius a couple of quick signposts here that helps me get off to key information very quickly. So how might you be using that? Well, one of the areas we see this being used a lot is in things like competitor or market research. Very, very quick example. Let's say you've got two competitors, or it could be clients, it could be anyone you're already interested in. So you could have competitor Bravo, competitor Romeo as an example. Now maybe under competitor Bravo, what we might want to save is a link to to a product page. So maybe let's just be a bit more specific here and say product web page. Just edit that topic. Now again remember what we did before. I'm going to add a hyperlink. Let's again just say it's uh, Amazon maybe is the product we're looking for. Um, competing product. Little description there. Save my Amazon.com link. And in we go, and there's a little link off here. Now, that could be a much more specific link. It doesn't have to be Amazon.com. It could be Amazon.com forward slash, and then a very specific product link that you might put in there. So again, very easy to then pop open that link and see, right, where is the key uh, information about that product? You may have saved the competitor website up here at a higher level. So again, we could just be saying add hyperlink. 
maybe that's where you have the master website and then more specific product pages as you build out your analysis and again latest report is where you might have saved a document that they've published at competitors so again this time we might use that right click attachment use the same process again say add browse our documents let's say again you've downloaded this report from this particular competitor there it is again okay okay and very quickly as we build out our competitor Bravo information we've got really useful really useful key information to hand a website link maybe to a specific product that we're worried about as a competition or maybe a latest report that gives us some information to be hopeful about either way the key point is within mind genius you keeping that really useful information right at your fingertips using hyperlinks and attachments thanks for watching and for more mind mapping templates tutorials and training visit biggerplate.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel